Okay, hi everyone. Um, today we're going to go through and look at an Inicom OXO. We're going to look at changing the LCD. Um, these come factory set from the distributor and suppliers at 25 kilometers an hour for the Australian market. Very slow for a scooter of this caliber. We've had a lot of inquiries ourselves on how do we actually replace and reset the speed. Factory set, uh, the LCD comes with, um, or rather comes without the menu eight that's required to reset the speed. Very simple fix is to replace the LCD and we'll show you the steps on how to do that and then to set up the scooter so you can have the speed selector is uh, to the maximum at 65 kilometers an hour, which is pretty quick. Um, I wouldn't suggest that you use use it at that speed around pedestrian areas and in the city. Um, but we'll get set up and we'll get underway and show you exactly how we do this. Okay, I've just put the scooter up on a stand um, just so it doesn't move around. Now, process of today is what we're going to do is we're going to need to remove this hand grip. And then we're going to need to take this LCD off. But before we do that, there is a cable that you'll see that comes around here. And there's a plug about here that we unplug. We've got to undo this wrapping. Um, we remove the LCD, put the new one back on, plug it in, wrap it up, then put the hand grip back on and tighten this little ring. The hardest, hardest part of it is actually getting this grip off. They're very, very tight. The first thing we need to do, however, is there is a black band which keeps the hand grip relatively tight. So there is a little nut here which we're going to need to undo using the Inicom tool, um, which I've got that there. We'll do our best. Try and do this holding the phone as well. We undo that. Okay, so not quite. Oh, there we go. Okay. So that's the nut and this is still quite tight, but it's the grip or the band that keeps this in place. So we're now gonna remove this handle grip. So bear with me while I start to pull that off. Okay, after a bit of pulling and pushing, we've got the handle grip where it's almost off. Uh, so we remove that, um, put that to the side. We now need to remove this controller. With the Anycom tool, uh, we use, I think it might be three mil. Um, we need to undo this nut here and that removes the nut from the controller which enables us to pull that off. Take that off. Then we can see that that's, that moves. So before we can remove it, we need to actually unplug it. So we need to peel back this to find where the connection is. So this is just a process of a bit easier with two hands. So I'm doing this. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, so we can see here there's a join. And what we need to do is just need to pull that apart. And it's typically a five or six prong connection. So we'll go ahead and do that. 
it is very, very tight. So I may need to put this down and pull it apart and show you. Okay. I've pulled the uh, cable apart and you can see it's this type of connection only goes in one way. So what we need to do is we just need to now pull the controller off and there we have it. Quite simple. Then all we need to do is go and get the new one and put it back in, position it, plug it back in, put the handle grips on and then it's just about uh, reprogramming it for the speed selections that we need. So we'll just grab that second one. Slide it over. I normally put this cable on this side. That kind of positions it quite well and just to make sure it's in the right position. If we lift the handlebars, we look at the way we'd hold it, kind of line the LCD up level with the bell and that white should be in the right position. So the cable will come around here and we just need to make sure the little prongs line up and we plug that back in and then we'll go ahead and wrap this back up, uh, do the nut on the back end and put the grip back on. Okay, so we've put the uh, connector back on and now we'll just go ahead and wrap this up. Okay, let's make sure the controller actually works. Perfect. Yep, working. Now it's a matter of doing this nut back up. Tighten it. Perfect. And now what we'll do is we'll grab the we'll grab this and we just need to remember or at least line it up to what it looks like on the other side. So we have the finger grips across here. So we will end up wanting to have the grip similar when we place it back on. Okay. Now the grip's back on, put the little uh, screw back in here. Um, <clears throat> now all that's left to do is to reprogram the LCD with menu 8 to be able to maximise the speed. So I'll set the scooter up so we can see the LCD a bit better and then we'll go through that menu. Okay, so what we need to do now is uh, reset the LCD so it can go to 65 kilometers an hour. So let's just turn the LCD on by hitting the power button. Cycles through. Okay, now to get to the sub menus, we need to hit the power, the plus and minus, sorry. Okay, first menu is related to the brightness of the LCD. Uh, we hit the power button to go to Menu 2, which is the speed selector, currently set at 25 kilometers an hour. We need to go to menu 5, and we'll just use the power button to cycle up to 5. This is where it gets a little bit uh, tricky, guys, so I've got to try and do this with two hands. I cannot do it with one hand, so bear with me. And this will get us to menu seven. We need to hold the power, uh, the power plus and minus button down all together at once. So let's give it a go.
Okay, menu seven to get to menu eight, which interests us. That's, we need to do it again. coordination and there we go menu eight so we can see that the speed is currently set at 25 now to <clears throat> get that to 65 we hit the plus button it's now set at 65 we hit the power button a couple of times that'll bring us back to sub menu one and two so now we set the speed of the scooter at 65. That's it. Uh, we just now need to hold the power button down. All done. Now just to verify that that 65 kilometers an hour has been set. Again, let's just hold down the plus and minus button to get to the sub menu. Hit the power button to check. There we go. All done. Just a reminder that uh, we can only do the speed not on public roads, so if it's only on a private road. So be careful too when doing these types of speeds. That's it, guys. Uh, all set, ready to go.